Based off their plus minus, this video shows you the top 10 most valuable players so far this season. While some players on this list benefit from the teams they're playing on, as you're about to find out, the value they've displayed has been crucial to their squad's success. Before continuing, only 24.8% of you watching are subscribed, so please subscribe. Also leave a thumbs up on this video, it takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. Number 10, Monte Morris. With the blue arrow out for the year, Morris is filling in for Jamal by keeping a pristine rhythm to the Denver Nuggets offense. Monte is averaging around 11 points and 4 assists per game. Given the well-rounded point guard was a bench player for the first 4 years of his career, at plus 118 so far, Morris has done an excellent job adjusting to his newly tasked responsibility in the starting five. Number 9, Luke Kennard. The LA Clippers are on fire as of this recording, and Luke Kennard deserves some credit for the team's solid record so far. The sniper has been the most valuable Clippers player in terms of plus minus. The former Detroit Piston is fourth on the team in scoring at 11.1 points per game, and Luke's also shooting the highest from three point range of his career at 45%. Number eight, Gary Payton II. In several of my recent videos, I've touched on the impact of GP2 in terms of how his defense in the 11 minutes per game he's given is resembling his dad's all-time great clamps. Also, the man has some crazy bunnies, but Gary's one of four players on the Warriors who's top 10 in the NBA in plus-minus, which solidifies the value he has to the raging 11-1 Warriors. Number 7, Andre Iguodala. Staying in the Bay, Iggy's been throwing down jams like it's his first tenure in Golden State. When he's been on the floor for the dubs this year, Iggy's been a plus 122. And that just goes to show you his defensive anticipation, his playmaking, and overall passion for the game is still very much present as he approaches age 38. Number 6, Giannis Adetokounmpo. The Greek freak and his teammates may be suffering from a bit of a championship hangover, but the numbers prove that Adetokounmpo's value is still top-notch. The superstar is plus 122 in his seven games played so far. Considering his team started four and six, that's pretty damn good. Milwaukee has won two of three, so we'll see if the best power forward in the NBA's impact can lead to more winning. Number five, Aaron Gordon. Gordon's struggles in the 2021 playoffs may have been alarming as the man couldn't throw a fish in the ocean. However, 21-22's first 12 games have seen the former dunk contest runner-up and Orlando Magic player shockingly increase his deep range shot by 7 percentage points from his time in Denver last season. He's also posting a plus-minus that's only two numbers behind the 2021 MVP. Gordon's thriving off the playmaking of Nikola, and he's become so much more comfortable in Denver's offense after undergoing his first training camp with the team a few months ago. Number 4, Nikola Jokic. Kudos to these fans putting together a legendary sign that couldn't not grace today's thumbnail. A few days ago, I got a brutal like-to-dislike ratio on a video where I put both Markeith Morris and Jokic on my dirty players list. Clearly, these fans weren't happy about the NBA suspending Jokic and only fining Morris. In terms of what Nikola's done when he's between the lines, the Joker's posting career highs by far in rebounds per game at 14.1 and in field goal percentage at 59%. 25, 14, and 6 ain't too shabby for the reigning MVP. Number 3, Derrick Rose. The Chicago Bulls legend and former MVP has finally regained the type of impact he once had. With a plus 133 plus minus, D. Rose ranks number one among all NBA players in this area who aren't wearing a Warrior jersey. Derrick's blisteringly putting up a 48% clip from long range, the highest of his career by far of course, and Derrick remains one of the most valuable sixth men in the world. Number two, Nemanja Bjelica. Belly's absolutely stroking it from deep for the number one team in the NBA right now, as he's a plus 142 in this young season, spacing it out brilliantly next to the exquisite playmaking of Steph, Poole, and Draymond. Nemanja is currently number one in the NBA in three-point percentage, right ahead of Doug McDermott of the Spurs. Bielitsa's 50% stroke on 2.3 attempts from long range is the highest mark of his career by over eight percentage points. Belly's also posting a career high in overall field goal percentage, 
But what a free agency steal this man's looking like for Bob Myers and Dubs Nation. Number one, Steph Curry. As the chef graces the number one spot, the number one lesson us NBA fans have learned so far in the early going is that Steph's gonna Steph. Regardless of who's defending him or the game plan thrown in front of him, throughout the course of a game, the man's going to figure out a way to get buckets on you. And it's not like you can double him like you could in 1920 and 2021. Steph's got a ton of help around him, as this list has displayed, with four dubs players being on it. Curry's seemingly dropping 40 pieces on a nightly basis, and I know I previewed it a few days ago, but I have a separate video on specifically Curry coming out very soon, so hit subscribe for that. Steph's plus 168 plus minus is 16 ahead of any other player and plus 35 ahead of any other player not on his team. So some beastly stuff from the best player in the world right now, Stephen Curry. Let me know your favorite player on this list and why for next video shout out. Last video shout out goes to MZ who says that being a Wizards fan is exhilarating this year and he hopes they can keep at least a top five seed. Thanks for all the great answers. Compete for NBA jerseys and merch in Community Speaks, which I'm giving away in the holiday season by leaving your take on today's question. This was D-Flow, and I'll see you next video.